What's going on chickies? It's Baron here today. We're going to be going over the Hurricane and the Scorpius and we're pretty much going to be putting them head to head. Before we get into it, don't forget to check out the Toby5 eye tracker code in the links in the description. Use my Star Citizen referral code. So before we really get into detail, I just want to say that the Anvil Hurricane is the current meta ship. So if you're looking for a good fighter, I'd get in there with a the Tarada because you will melt everything. Nothing really stands a chance against that right now. But we're going to get into it. So we're going to do the Hurricane obviously versus Scorpius and there's going to be some drawbacks and there's going to be a few things in there that's going to make you think about getting either ship possibly but we know that the Hurricanes in game at the moment it's really great right now I've never really used it up until this point I never really found like any sort of use since I do fly by myself since a lot of us do fly by ourselves but the game has recently made everyone rethink about their game strategy and what they're going to do later on down the game track and what really does lay down the track like what we're going to do because obviously they're trying to get this to be a multiplayer game but we're getting off track so obviously we know that the anvil hurricane has got two size one coolers it's got one size two power a size two shield and one size one quantum drive four size two missiles two size four guns facing forward and four size threes on the turrets so we know that they're all energy weapons which you would want to keep them that way at the moment with the ballistic system being the way it is because it's not really very efficient at the moment we know you don't get many ballistics i was in a uh, valkyrie not too long ago and it did have limited ammo so don't forget about that so with the scorpius you got eight size two missiles four times size three traversing turret um like <clears throat> you got one mount but you got four size threes on the traversing turret that goes around which can be controlled by an ai blade and then you got four size three wing mount weapons which are size three gimbal which i would say you'd be able to put down as a size three fixed so that like they are a size two gimbal which is like a size three mount then you can take that off and then have a size three weapons there obviously and then the scorpius we know is a larger which actually draws it back from the hurricane in speed in SEM which is a little bit unfortunate but I don't know if it'd be too much of a massive drawback we know like it's it should be a decent ship um, it does have equal armor to the hurricane it's slightly less than the super Hornet and less than the Vanguard so there's always that to think about well the ship is going to be an absolute weapon like it's got at eight guns it's gonna be crazy to use this thing you can lock the turret on the top and you can lock it at the back when you're getting shot from the rear from other ships as well so keep that in your mind um they designed this ship really to be to fit in extra small hangers uh, and landing pads like size 2 landing pads so it can fit in the polaris that is a massive plus i don't know if the hurricane will fit in there as such so that's why they have designed the scorpius the way they've designed it so always keep that in mind now putting the two head to head they're both great ships like they're both fantastic obviously the hurricane being the major ship at the moment if you do have a gunner i would keep the default weapons uh obviously well not default but i would keep energy weapons like um badges i think it is the size four um repeaters and the size three repeaters they seem to be doing really good so think about keeping those you can put distortion distortion um cannons on it so yeah there's always that but um i would definitely look into um the scorpius as well and what the ability of that will be and what the firepower of that will be because that thing's going to be insane eight guns and those four wingtip weapons are going to be absolutely crazy so when that actually comes out the traversing turret will give people a massive massive idea about the traversing turret on the javelin once that comes out so keep that in the back of your mind as well i know i keep saying that but it's all relevant so you just got to keep thinking about you know what what if and what is and what's to come but we do know that the anvil hurricane stats were different on the um rsi ship page um to what they are now so the Scorpius is always subject to change. Obviously, ships in concept are always subject to change. But going head to head, I would definitely pick the Scorpius. I know the Hurricane is a fantastic ship. I'm not downing it or anything. Let me know in the comments what you would pick. Obviously, given with the current information that we know right now and what could be in the future. I mean, I think that the Scorpius has a massive massive advantage of being able to fit in the polaris when you go to jump to different systems or you go to jump to a different planet you can always get someone to jump in that fighter and start shooting at enemies and sort of give you some sort of a backup which is great as well because when you do escorting or any sort of security service or even if you have someone if that large ship can have someone jump in it you could always go 
break someone out of prison, get someone to jump into Scorpius, fly down, pick them up, come back up, and away you go and hack a stat. It's the Polaris and this have a great sort of relationship. So keep that again in mind. I want to know what you guys think about the Scorpius. I also want to know what you guys think about the Hurricane. Because personally the Hurricane right now is it's shredding. It is absolutely melting. I cannot believe how crazy it is. So it's just cool to see what they've done with the Hurricane right now. And what could be become of the Scorpius later on down the track in the future. So I've really just wanted to pin down that these ships are going to be fantastic they're both large fighters they're both going to have some sort of great advantage and we know what those advantages are right now but um like this fighting system could always change so that you know the hurricane might not always be like a meta fighter now i wouldn't exactly pick one ship i would definitely pick both of them i know that's kind of contrary contradictory to why i'm doing this but at the same time they are both fantastic ships they also both serve a great great um purpose in the verse as well as if you want to do uh, vhrts or so any sort of ert as well these things will be crazy so um yeah just think about that keep it in your mind just think about like what you really want to do this like it would be great for pirating it would be great for just battles as well civilian uh use so i think it would be a fantastic advantage to have one of these hurricanes or scorpius and i definitely suggest getting either one so i hope you guys um enjoyed this it's been baron i'll see you in the verse